welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy the show. Alrighty, so me and the badge got a uh, dump trailer full of crap here. Badger, morning. Good morning. And uh, prices are up a little bit. We're going to go to a different scrap yard that's paying a little better. I think almost $100 a ton or something like that. So that's worth hauling. So we're going to finish loading up, filling some holes in the back there. And then we're on the way to the scrap yard. Alrighty, here we go. Almost 3,000 pounds. I mean, 2,800 pounds for a buck 32 at 475 100. Badger, your thoughts? Great. How about that? It's been a minute, y'all. How hey, are you guys? how about how about uh, how about you inform them of why we haven't gone to that scrapyard in so long? What what originally happened? Well, because the price. No, no, no. What? Remember? Oh, the one that we were going to now. Yeah. Oh no, those greasy bitches tried to fuck us. They did us pretty bad. They uh -huh. tried to say we had shit that we had number one steel both times, but the first time we went, we got paid very well. Mm -hmm. Second time we got the same type of shit, but they tried to tell us. It was different shit. It was 10, remember? Yeah, they tell me it was 10 and took out money. They paid us for fucking 10. You greasy son of a bitch. Well, guess what? We, ain't got to, we don't need y'all business. Yeah, it's too many fucking scrap yards we can go to. Now that we're coming back to them, oh my God, we are being treated like kings. Oh, they can't fucking believe it, man. They love us now. Well, guess what? We still gonna fuck them. If your price go down again, we gonna leave and go somewhere else. <laughs> Well, we, and a good day to y'all too. We're uh, we're breaking them in good, giving them a little bit of plastic in each load too. Absolutely, they gotta get that. You know they can't get away with that. But, I mean they buy that shit too. You know. Yeah. Yeah. They just probably a little pissed because we ain't gave them. Uh, <laughs> okay. Very good, Badger. Alrighty. So I'm back today. I forgot to do this. I've already torched all that. You're about to see the time lapse of that. Uh, have a couple pieces left. One, two, three, and four. Four pieces left to torch in the number one size and then i'm gonna go ahead and load this stuff up i won't make the yard today uh it'll be tomorrow and uh me and badger ran a load of tin this morning anyway where's badger on this job i really don't need him so i don't bring him but that's that Alrighty, here it is. Load of prepared number one HMS. Angle iron and channel up front. More angle iron middle. And then we got pipe in the back. Little uh, 
escape ladder or something there I caught. They don't like considering those as number one because they're they think they're spindly. But they're gonna take it tomorrow, that's for sure. And then I scrounged up a few extra pieces of uh, plate and structural. I might get on the scale with the trailer, unload that, then come back for this, but it might only be six or 700 pounds here. So we'll just let it go as number one prepared, no big deal. But if for some reason that they do call it uh, prepared plate and structural, that'll be even better because that pays the best. So that's that. See you tomorrow at the scrapyard. Alrighty. So I didn't think this load <coughs> was as heavy as the last one, but it might be heavier. I don't know, especially with the weight in the truck. But tire looks fine, right? Not flat, not nothing. Watch this, or listen to this, I should say. That tire is getting ready to come apart. And I mean like bust and fly apart. Probably can't see it very good, but it's the outside tire and you see how it's chewed up. It is literally getting ready to come apart and it's got a bad spot as a cut. I can see it, but you can't. And every time it come around, it would tick, tick, tick. And then it got louder and louder. So I've been there, done that. And you don't want to keep driving or else you get it blowed out. And then when it blows out, like it did on this side, get ready for a laugh. That tire comes apart and literally tears the inside of the service body out. I mean, this is wide open. You're looking at tire right there. It's from experience that that happened. Very violent when a tire blows out. So anyway, now we'll wait for a ride to go get a tire, then change the tire at home and come back and put it back on. Nice. Just to clarify on this, <clears throat> when it came apart, it didn't cut this perfect square out. I, I, it was all mangled up and twisted up in there, all the metal. I just torched it all the way out that way eventually one day I can weld some plate steel back in here and have the bottom of the box used again oh and this compartment was full of PVC fittings multiple shelves so I had about 20 PVC fittings to go pick up on the side of the road when that tire did blow out just wanted to clarify in case anybody was thinking that was a awfully clean cut Alrighty, it's about 10.30 at night. I'm trying to upload this video and realized, oh, I never did the weigh and pay because I always say, oh, I'll do it when I get home. I'll do it later. Never ends up happening. That load was brought in on August 23rd. Today is September 20th. That's almost a month. I apologize for taking so long to upload, but got things to do. Anyway, we got number one HMS at 850 per hundred. Had 9,640 pounds, which was heavier than the last video load, the uh, plate and structural. And the grand total was 819 bucks. Absolutely fantastic. Other than the tire blowout and a couple of the little setbacks, no big deal. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.